Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian, I'm here today at the Rock Island Auction House taking a look at some of the cool guns that are coming up for sale in the June of 2015 regional auction. And I found one here, this was actually in a lot of four different Craig Jorgensen type rifles, but this particular one was made by Nazis. So when the Germans occupied Norway in 1943, one of the initial things they did was head right on over to the Kongsberg rifle factory and uh, see what they had to do to get some rifles made to their own specifications. Um, this was something that was fairly typical of German occupation. They would often have uh, munition companies continue to make product um, under German supervision and for use by the German army. And you can never have too many rifles, right? Well, the Norwegians weren't really thrilled about this. Their government obviously was collaborating with the Germans. Quisling, whose name we know to this day as traitor and slimy collaborator. Uh, however, uh, when the Germans got to the factory, they, they took advantage of the, the parts that were already there, plus um, some complete rifles that were already in the factory, and they had all of these, these guns assembled um, in a couple of different production sequences to match the general handling and overall size of a Car 98K, uh, which was also something typical for them. They wanted basically to standardize uh, on handling and basic features. So, what they did, the differences between this and a typical Norwegian Krag would be the overall length and the barrel length, which have been matched to a 98K. They added a front sight hood, very much like a Mauser. Uh, the bayonet lug is, and the, the barrel diameter are set to take a standard K98K Mauser bayonet. And that's about it for, uh, for mechanical changes. The action of the gun is all standard Norwegian Krag. Um, these rifles were all still chambered for the 65 by 55 cartridge. Um, so they would have used local, you know, local production Norwegian ammunition. Uh, they hold five rounds, as does any typical Krag, and they were able to manufacture, over the course of two years, 1943 and 1944, the Germans were able to get almost 3,000 of these guns made. So really that's a pretty pathetic production run, and that's largely because the Norwegians involved were highly unmotivated to help the Germans. So they had three different production runs of these, or or sequences of these. You'll find them with uh, serial number prefixes of NA, NB, and NC. Like I said, some of these were receivers that were new and unmarked. Uh, some were existing 1894 model uh, Norwegian Krag receivers. Um, some of those got scrubbed. Some of them still have Norwegian markings on them. This particular one is from the very first series. It's an NA, uh, dated 1943, and it's serial number 392. So it is, in fact, the 392nd one of these German-produced or, or German-supervised Krag rifles. Uh, pr finish on these, the overall build quality is really kind of crude, again, because the Norwegian workers weren't particularly interested in helping the Germans. Uh, but they do have this really cool place in, in Krag collecting and, and German rifle collecting arenas because they're a neat occupation-made gun. So why don't I bring the camera in a little closer. We'll take a look at a couple of the markings. and. Uh, see what makes this stand out a bit from a regular Craig. All right, let's start here with the receiver. We have, there's our NA prefix, our 1943 date. You will also find 1944. And then there is our serial number, 392. Then we have a pair of little German Waffenob Eagles there. You will also find a serial number and a Waffenob on the bolt stem right there. Interestingly, on this one, someone has decided to scratch the word Norway into the side of the receiver, just in case you forgot that that's where these were made. So up here at the muzzle, we have a couple distinctive features. Obviously, the front sight hood is not standard on a Norwegian rifle, but it is standard and on German rifles, and the Germans wanted it. Of course, we have our bayonet lug, and there's a slight change in barrel diameter here. Last but not least, on the wood, we have a serial number stamped into the stock here, 392. And on the opposite side, we have another Waffenop in the wood. Now, some of the flat parts like this, you can see that the finish just isn't really all that well done. There's lots of machine marks. Um, the finish itself is a little bit thin. It's wearing through. Because you know what? Who, wants, who really wants to help the Nazis? So these occupation-made Krag rifles were colloquially known as Stomperud carbines, which actually comes from the name of a Norwegian cartoon character very much like, say, Beetle Bailey. Um, they got that name for being not very well put together and a little bit clunky and 
ersatz, you might say. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Everyone likes Nazi guns, and this is a kind of an oddball Nazi, uh, Nazi marked rifle. So if you'd like to add this to your own collection, be it uh, rifles you think are cool, or Norwegian guns, or Krags, or German guns, whatever you happen to have, you'll have the opportunity to buy this here at Rock Island. It's going up for auction at the end of June 2015. If you go ahead and click the link in the description text below, that will take you to Rock Island's catalog page. You can check out their pictures of it, their description, and the other three crags that are in the same lot that it comes with. Uh, if you decide you want it, everything's right there. You can create an account, place a bid online, and best of luck to you. Thanks for watching.